Hello, welcome to another wiki procedure and today we are going to look on how we can make an ap application for renewal of National Industrial Training Authority Registered Training Provider. Down here below we have given you a link which is going to direct you to our wiki procedure website page where we have given you detailed information on how you can go about the application process. Additionally, on the right hand side of our screen we have included a select language option in which you can select a language from the list of languages, a language which uh, is easy for you to comprehend and by choosing that language the information on our wiki procedure website page will be translated to the language of your choice and you'll be able to read through the instructions with ease. For example, I have chosen Kiswahili and all the information uh, in our wiki procedure website page has been translated to Swahili. Additionally, we've included uh, links to uh, and, uh, uh, sorry, and you can easily uh, revert back to English by clicking again on the English uh, uh, option and all, all the information will be translated back to English. Additionally, we've included links to the application uh, form which you're going to use to make the renewal uh, application and you can easily download it by uh, clicking on the links provided in our, our website page. And uh, we are going to go through this form as we move on with the application, uh, with the presentation. And you can, uh, we're going to see how you're supposed to fill it and uh, go through the checklist to which you're supposed to attach uh, the documents uh, for renewal and submit. You're going to talk about where you are going to make your submission and when to make the submission. And before we continue with the, our presentation today, I will urge you to click hit the subscribe button and hit the like button down below here so you can get notifications when we upload new videos on our YouTube channel. So let's get back to our presentation. And the list of items which you're going to cover in this session include the need for the registration with with the National Industrial Training Authority, NITA, the eligibility criteria, required documents, steps to follow while making the application for renewal of your registration, fees, validity period, as uh, uh, your the validity period, the processing time office location and contact information and any other information that we may find really uh, uh, necessary or uh, to help us to make the renewal of national industrial training authority registered training provider so welcome to our presentation today which is brought to you by wikiprocedure.com need for registration with nita uh, the registration with uh, National Industrial Training Authority is a quality assurance pro uh, process conducted by the NITA indicating that a training provider is capable of providing high quality training in a sound and safe environment. NITA the National Industrial Training Authority oversees the quality assurance of training provided to industrial training levy contributing employers where such employers may in turn claim reimbursement on approved training cost. So once you have re been registered and uh, your registration uh, validity has lapsed, you are supposed to make uh, a renewal uh, as a registered training provider with NITA. The eligibility criteria is as follows. Uh, the business must be uh, locally registered or and incorporated. Uh, eligibility also, you're supposed to be have already uh, gotten a, a registration certificate as a training provider by NITA. And if you are registered under Business Name Act, the name must reflect the training functions and the physical address on the certificate must tally with the application form. If you are incorporated under the Company Act, the memorandum and articles of association should explicitly state that uh, training is a core business of uh, your company. And if you are registered under any other act, the constitution must reflect training as one of its aims and objective and uh, you must establish and incorporate a training entity uh, with its own full-time chief trainer and resource persons. Uh, and another criteria is the, uh, if organization is established by an act of parliament 
for purposes other than training but mandated mandated to carry out training it must establish and incorporate a training entity which will have its own full-time chief trainer and resource person uh, required uh, documents are as follows uh, you need registration or incorporation certificate uh, you need your PIN and VAT certificate, memorandum and articles of association, your registered con uh, constitution, your uh, National Industrial Training Authority registration certificate, which has now expired, your National uh, Industrial Training Authority payment receipt of 10,000 shillings for the renewal, your registered lease or sublease or title deed of the property or premises where you are carrying out the training, your appointment letter for the lead trainer, a CV, and ID, a CV, ID card, or passport for the lead trainer. You also need academic and professional certificate for the lead trainer. You are supposed also to provide appointment letter, CVs, ID cards, and passports, uh, academic and professional certificate for all full-time resource persons. Mm -hmm. You're also supposed to provide a con contractual agreements for all part-time persons, CVs, ID cards, or passports for all part-time part uh, resource persons, and their academic and professional uh, certificates. If the, uh, uh, the resource persons are foreigners, you're supposed also to provide work permits uh, showing uh, that they can work legally in Kenya. Additionally, you're supposed to provide the institution's training profile and support documents showing past training activities of uh, the, institu the institution. The procedure for renewal is as follows. Uh, the, the applicant should fill the application uh, form for registration and renewal of NITA, uh, that's the National Industrial Training Authority, uh, as a training provider from NITA slash PIT6, and the applicant should pay the requested and refundable application fee of 10,000 shilling payable at the NITA KCB account number 11025080075 in the industrial area branch. The applicant is then required to fill and submit a duly uh, filled application form for renewal and, and the required documents and payment receipt to the NITA offices. And after you have made this, uh, you, you'll get an impromptu fact-finding visit by, the, by an assessment team from NITA to come and assess the physical premises where the training uh, is being provided. And after the, uh, they have come and made uh, the, the fact-finding uh, visit in your premises, uh, uh, the assessment uh, in your premises, you'll receive communication within 30 days uh, in writing about your renewal status. So, after the impromptu fact-finding fact visit, uh, assessment, uh, uh, which will be regulated by the NITA calendar and schedules, uh, you will receive a renewal, uh, your renewal status in writing within 30 days uh, after the visit. And you need to know that renewal uh, is supposed to be made uh, every 15 March of the following year. And it's advisable that you make your renewal uh, 30 days uh, before the 15th of March so that uh, your, license, your, your registration license may still, may always be valid and you may not be caught in the wrong before because it's uh, illegal to uh, carry out training without a valid uh, registration certificate so applicants who do not qualify for renewal may appeal to the director within 30 days of notification at no cost and if uh, in the first appeal you have failed a second appeal will attract a payment of an unrefundable fee which is half the uh, app application fee for renewal which is 5,000 shillings and any subsequent appeal uh, from the second will require the applicant to appear in person before the director director's general committee upon payment of the required and refundable fee and the decision of the committee is final and all appeals uh, are supposed to be made in writing 
and a registered uh, training provider sh uh, shall be required to complete the application form uh, NITAPI T6 to renew their registration by 15 March of the following year. Any applicant who fails to renew by this date will be required to apply for a new registration certificate. So uh, let's go through the the application document so we can have a quick look on how it looks like. Um, all the information has been given here about the application fees, uh, bank account, you're supposed to sign your a declaration here. I tick that you're making a renewal application. Tick the type of, of uh, category of training you want to to do. And you need to note that uh, in case you you carry out uh, two trainings, you're supposed to fill separate uh, forms for separate trainings. For example, if you're carrying out uh, defensive uh, driving and fire and safety you are supposed to make two applications so you're going supposed to make two payments of 10,000 shillings for renewal uh, filling the particulars of the organizations the physical address your uh, particulars of the proprietors uh, details uh, of the lead trainers resource persons and attach their uh, appointment letters, there's academic certificates, CDs, passport, work permit, and depending on their situation. And make sure uh, you go through the checklist and uh, make sure you that you have attached all of these documents which are supposed to be certified. So uh, after you have done this, uh, submit uh, this application uh, form to the NITA offices where they are going to uh, go through it and come and make the, the visit to come and check your premises and you'll be provided uh, with a renewal certificate within 30 days. So we have already talked about the fees which is 10,000 shillings uh, payable at the NITA KCB account. The validity period is one year. Uh, the processing time is usually one month so make your application early with uh, at least 30 days before the 13th of at uh, the 15th of march so sorry the office locations for nita they are located at commercial street industrial area and their website is www.nita.go.ke other information is that functional and operation uh, arrangement requ uh, requirement um uh, this uh, state that the tra training establishment must have a place evident, f evident functional and, and operational arrangements dedicated toward meeting the training objectives of the industry workforce. This include an operational physical uh, office, uh, separate access where the facility is within a residential premises. It should be separate from the living quarters, relevant tools, equipment, material and requisite resources for the training. Record of past training conducted by organization, organization within the last two years. And training providers shall, upon application, submit the curriculum vitae and course content for the courses on offer to NITA, indicating the following, the target group, the course outline, objectives, course duration, and expected outcomes. So uh, that's all. And thank you for watching. And I will urge you to, once again, uh, hit the like button on our youtube channel hit the like button hit the subscribe button and get for you to get notifications when we upload new videos on our youtube channel so once again i wish you all the best in your renewal of uh, as a training uh, training provider with nita and have a good uh, day thank you